Hey guys! Long time no see. I know it's been forever since I filmed the video. Um, I have not filmed anything since my August favorites, so the beginning of September. Um, and that was not quite planned that it takes so long of a break, <laughs> but um, it was about the same time last year that I disappeared for a little bit between morning sickness and then losing my brother. Um, because that was a year ago, October 27th, and, um, I did my first pregnancy vlog, like, just before Thanksgiving, um, uh, last, or right after Thanksgiving last year, sometime around there, and, um, yeah, I cannot believe it's been a year since then, um, it's snowing for the first time today, it's looking like a winter wonderland out there, um, so yeah, it's been crazy. I'll try to make a long story short, uh, beginning of September, I was not planning on totally disappearing, um, but then, uh, the beginning of September I started, like, just gradually feeling kind of worse and worse, and by mid-September, um, by mid to late September I was consistently feeling terrible every day, I did not know why, um, I was just so, no matter how much sleep I got, I was exhausted, I was so weak, like, I could barely pick up Jocelyn sometimes, and my arms would just hurt and, like, feel like they were about to, like, give out. When I gave her a bath, I was afraid I was going to drop her, I was just so weak, and it was really discouraging, because I just wanted to have the energy that I needed, you know, to be a good mom and wife and do everything. And it was, it was just so discouraging. Like, there was a few times I just, like, sat there and just cried because I didn't know how long I was going to feel so terrible. And, uh, so about mid-September I was supposed to go back to work and I still had to go to the doctor because I still hadn't gone. And so while I was there, I asked about it, um, and they said... Um, that my iron was fine and stuff, but, um, ended up getting some more, some blood work done, and it was definitely my thyroid. It was, like, off the charts, messed up, and so, um, I went to my doctor a few days later, and they just wanted to, like, do this, the standard, like, Thing with radioactive iodine and he said it was going to be really expensive and all this stuff and I'm just like okay uh doesn't sound like it's even going to help me very much and so a few friends had mentioned that I thought this um, chiropractor nearby who treats all kinds of things naturally could probably help me so I called I went to a class on everything that he does and I ended up doing a natural allergy elimination treatment um, for my thyroid, which basically is for iron and iodide. Iodide. Iodine. Iron and iodine. And it was really tough to like get through, but it's only after the treatment, it's only like 25 hours, you have to avoid these things and not even touch it. Anything with those things in them or eat anything. So that was a really rough day. Um, like, all I could eat was completely plain chicken and cauliflower. And cauliflower is like, not filling at all. <laughs> and the next morning I was super sick, like, right up until 12 o'clock when it was supposed to end. Because 25 hours, and I had finished up at the office about 11 o'clock the morning before. It's so weird, like, can't really explain how it works. It's, and it's so natural, it's basically considered voodoo, so no insurance covers it either. So each of these treatments is $60. And I'm so thankful that this doctor is like right down the road because I think there's like, there's not many people that do these treatments. And so that was just a big blessing. And um, anyway, so within a week, I felt so much better. It was crazy. Like I, I noticed I went to work and it was just so much easier. Like um, the week before, the night before I did that treatment, 
it was awful. Like I just felt awful. I couldn't even make it through the night, which is only like a four to five hour shift. I had to leave early. I just felt horrible. And then within a week, it was just like basically back to my normal self. So this is like early October by this point. And then a week later I did the hormone one. It was supposed to help balance her hormones. And so within like two weeks of that, between the two, thyroid problems can also cause um, hair loss. And my in I was having insane hair loss before this point. Like I would brush my hair and it'd be all over the bathroom counter and floor like a couple times a day. I was wiping it up. When I woke up in the morning it'd be all over my pillowcase every day. And within a few weeks of doing those two treatments, that stopped. Like, my hair loss is basically just normal now. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I'm so thankful to be feeling better, for sure, because it was just awful. Like, September 27th was my husband's birthday. We went out to Red Lobster with his mom and aunt. Um... And that morning for church, I had gotten up, and by the time I got out of the shower, I was, like, shaking and, like, about to pass out and, like, threw up. <laughs> it was just bad. Um, I was so out of it. I was just beyond exhausted. And I hated that I couldn't, like, enjoy his birthday with him. And this is just how it felt. Like, every day, it was awful. Like, by the time I took my shower for the day... I was just done. I was <laughs> wiped out. And um, so I definitely feel for anyone who has like thyroid problems. It is no joke. Um, so it was hyperthyroidism. It was going too fast. And I had also lost a lot of weight. Like I got a new brown skirt that I loved. It was like super soft cotton. I was excited I was going to wear it for fall with my brown boots. And that was the beginning of September. It's still too small. Like I lost 10 more pounds just within a few weeks. And that I'm pretty, which right now I think I gained a few more pounds back. So I'm pretty close to like my pre, pre-pregnancy weight because I had gained a few pounds right before I got pregnant. But then like after a while, you know, I was just okay with that and most of my clothes fit okay now. Um, but then, sorry, I'm getting so rambly, <laughs> but then... For a while, like with the thyroid thing, I was getting so discouraged because, um, like all my pregnancy maxi skirts and stuff that I loved are way too big, and then my pre pregnancy clothes are like now at this point, they had first at first they had been too small, and now all of a sudden they're all too big, and so I have like nothing that fits, <laughs> which is really annoying. So I'm slowly getting back, um, but I'm still in a situation where I don't have that many bottoms that fit me well, um, but I guess I could have bigger problems, and I'm just so thankful that I feel better, and Miss Jocelyn is getting a little noisy out there, so um, I am going to go get her and do her part of this update. Yeah, she's getting so big, I cannot believe she's five months. And for those of you who only see her on here, I'm sorry that I ended up skipping so many. I had wanted to at least do one by four months, but that that point was right around the time I had this treatment and I was still wasn't feeling the best. And um, yeah, so now I'm already almost a week late for her five month. So, and today's the first day that I had to actually stay home. And if I've had anything else going on, it's really hard. Well, obviously, I haven't filmed in a few months, so obviously, it's really hard to, like, to get a video done. Um, she keeps me busy. Yeah. She likes to move around. It's not like newborn days where I actually had time to paint my nails because she would fine with, like, laying in one spot or napping the day away. Now it's just crazy <laughs> because she just wants to be moving. But, um, she's on her Fisher Price, um piano thing right now and so I am going to go get her and I will be right back. So I'm back with my little chunk. Um, like I said, obviously she's five months old now. Last time we did a video she was two months. 
which is crazy. She's gotten so big. Um, she's making her hair gets so tangled in the back when she sleeps too. <sighs> she has a bat later too. But um, she's getting so big. She makes all kinds of different sounds. She loves to laugh and she rolls both ways now. Um, took her a lot longer to roll onto her belly from her back. Obviously she rolled um, from belly to back at like four weeks. Um, but it was just like a couple weeks ago that she rolled um, the other way. And so now like if I leave her for a minute on um, a blanket on the floor with her toys on her back, so I, like I came back in the other room and she was facing the other direction and on her belly. So at least she's getting a little tummy time, which she absolutely hates. Typically, she doesn't last very long, but I think that's why it's going to take probably a little longer to crawl. But she's starting to get there. She can move. She doesn't like necessarily, she doesn't like army crawl, like consistently pull herself or anything, but she's starting to get there. Um, so yeah, a little mover. And she got the hiccups again. So um, she is getting heavy. I don't even know how much she weighs, but um, the other day I was at my um, in-law's house after church on Wednesday night because we didn't have power here. We lost power Wednesday night and again Thursday afternoon, which was really annoying. But um, so thankfully it wasn't as cold as it is now. Um, but I got in the scale at their house and then and then holding her got back on. And it was like about a 20 pound difference. <laughs> so she is getting big, a little chunker. And she still sleeps really well. Um, like the only time recently that she woke up really early. Well, last night actually I heard her crying like 4.30 in the morning. But then she went back to sleep pretty quick. Um, but like a few nights ago I tried to have her sleep in her crib in a sleep sack. And she woke up at 4 and then wouldn't go back to sleep until she was like in her glider and had eaten a little more. So, I don't know. I mean, because when she's in her rock and play or glider, she will sleep completely through the night. Like last night, okay, she was up late, but she slept until like about 10.30 this morning. And, um, yeah, she usually won't sleep that late. Yesterday we were up at 8.30 and typically around 9-ish. But, um, yeah, she's a night owl and a late riser, which is good for us because that's how I am too. <laughs> so I definitely didn't mind not having to get up early. Oh, okay. You want to see yourself? <gasps> Whoa, there's Jocelyn. Can you see? She does like the mirrors. <laughs> so, um, and she still fits. If she's about 20 pounds, she should be out of all six months. But she does still fit in most of her six month onesies. Um, nine month, six month leggings, like just barely fit on her. She's been wearing nine month skirts for quite a while. Um, um, onesies that have really worked well for us and leggings are the circle ones from Target. They have just been perfect. Um, the circle ones are getting pretty snug now while um, the Carter's ones still have some room. But uh, they were perfect for at first when she, when the arms especially were like still huge on the Carter's ones. But the circle ones were a lot more fitted, so um, when she was kind of like in between around like three, four months, those were perfect. But now they're pretty much all getting smaller. Um, the sleeves on Carter's though tend to be longer and looser. On this shirt, which is Carter's, um, they're a little more fitted, but they're still a little bit longer. And so I have to kind of roll them up just a tiny bit. Because any sleeves that are like long and loose, she will drench with flour because she like sucks on them but if they're kind of fitted and shorter like the circle ones she doesn't really do that 
so like this is a nine month top that Justin's mom just got her and I put a little ones underneath today so she wouldn't be chilly um, but she doesn't get warm easily so it's not too hard to keep her warm and then just the circle leggings those are nine month so I just ordered some on sale um, they're 12 month they are like she fills those things out um so yeah <laughs> those are both nine months um I cannot believe how big she's getting and I feel like she, I'm gonna blink and she'll be a toddler seriously like when these people say it goes fast they're not kidding um she loves um little things that are like crinkly she loves that sound um, she's got a few other little toys that she really, really likes. Um, yeah. And as far as keeping her warm in winter, um, I think most of the time when I go out, well, as long as I can possibly carry her in it, <laughs> I'll leave her in the uh, infant seat, which she's probably going to outgrow <laughs> pretty soon. But... Um, I have one of the cozy covers that um, someone gave to Justin's mom, and uh, that thing works. Like, I'll, she'll just be wearing something like this, and I've gone out when it's about not super cold yet, obviously, but it was about 40 degrees, and she'd be almost sweating when I got home. So, um, yeah, that thing works really well. Like when it's super cold, I'll probably just have to put maybe a sweater on her and she'll be pretty much good. Maybe a blanket over her underneath it. But yeah, she does get warm easily. So yeah, I don't know what else to really update. If you don't already, follow her on Instagram because I post pictures all the time, like a couple times a week usually, unless there's an odd week, like when she had a cold. Um, yeah. And uh, we're finishing up our few months of working with uh, two different little shops for the first time. Um, she's been repping for Livy Boutique and um, Little Lady Grace Shop. Um, and we have really loved their adorable bows. I'd buy so many more if I could, and there are so many small shops. Um, you can find on Instagram that have their Etsy shops or their own websites, and I love supporting them. If I could, like, she would be head to toe and stuff from the small shops, but unfortunately, I just can't afford to. Um, so, you know, I have to do what I can and just get the five pack of onesies from Target or something. So, uh, with the occasional onesie or something from the small shops, but yeah. And, you know, it's nice to be able to support them when you can, you know, because helping another mom, you know, pay your bills and stuff instead of just going to a big company. So, yeah, she was tired today. She still took a two-hour morning nap after sleeping till 10.30. She slept from like 12.30 to 2.30. So, yeah. Me and this little chunk are gonna go, and we will see you later. Hopefully, um, I'm not gonna make any promises because you know how that goes, but um, I do want to at least try to somewhat keep up with updates for her and maybe like um, current favorites or monthly favorites as far as um, makeup and stuff goes. So, uh, yeah, it's been really hard to find time to film. So, yeah. Can you say bye-bye? Yeah. Can you say bye-bye? Can you say bye-bye? Yeah. Can you say bye-bye? Hey, Lexi. Down. Can you say bye-bye? She's fun. Yeah, putting everything in her mouth. Um, 
obviously she's been teething for a while now. No actual teeth yet, but and who knows when that'll be. But yeah, she sucks on anything and everything. So yeah. Anyways, we are gonna go and we will see you later. Bye guys. You see you? Yeah. Yeah.